Hey, how's it going? Welcome to One Minute Tutorials. Today in Reaper, I wanted to talk a little bit about cycle actions. I got this film project right here. So the project can get very large and kind of hard to navigate through. So as I'm working on the film, if I'm done with the Foley, I can just get rid of it. I can get rid of the sound effects. If I'm not working on work tracks, those go away. Now I'm just working on music. When I'm done working on the music, I can hide that and then maybe I can show sound effects again. So I'll show you how I did that. You can go to extensions then you go to cycle action editor and then here you can see all the cycle actions that I've made. I'll show you the example with the music but they're all the same. This is courtesy of John Tidy from Reaper blog. The way the cycle actions work there's a step somewhere in the middle. The first time you press the hotkey it will run the first set of commands until step and then it stops and the second time you press the same hotkey it goes through and does the second bit. So for example the first time I click the icon it will hide everything. So it will first select all the tracks that have the name MX in them, toggles the mute for them so it mutes them, then it hides them, then it unselects the previous selection that it's made so you're free to select other tracks, then it stops. The second time I hit this button it will then select all the tracks by name, toggle the mute and then it shows them and then unselects all the tracks and the way that looks is boom MX is here, boom it's gone, SFX gone, SFX back and that's how it works. Now there's a lot more you can do with cycle action so I will actually split this up into multiple videos and show you some other custom cycle actions that I've made. Thanks for watching and if you have any other questions regarding Reaper, Pro Tools, Logic, you know let me know and I'll make a quick tutorial for you. Bye!